Okay, so here's my array. As you can see, the big array has 28 panels. The first array I had had 20 panels. Then I've got 13 panels down here on the ground. I still have to put up more arrays. You can see the disconnect box in the background with all the combiners and everything. But when I put up this big array, oh my gosh, just the power coming off of it was just amazing and phenomenal. I still got some weeds to trim back. You can see a little bit of shading on it. It's almost 7 o'clock at night, 1st of September, 011. So, but yeah, this is my array. Okay, here's my Winmax 1K, and I've got an Air X with the low wind blades that's 400 watts, both at 48 volts. Hey guys, here's my new update. As you can see, I've changed to a bigger array disconnect, my trimetric, which you can see I'm at 52.9. Um, I put in an Outback charge controller. It's a huge improvement over just like a normal uh, pulse width modulator. Still have my shunts. Um, you can see I put in a brake for the Air X. I've got the two big wind turbine controllers also. Put in battery disconnects, my inverter disconnects. Now I had a problem. I run all my AC off this stuff, and I had one of my inverters go bad. Which, let me come up here so you can actually see. One of these inverters went bad, so I ended up getting on Craigslist, and they've got they're on the amp probe. These big, they're 3,000 watt inverters. I found them on Craigslist for 15 bucks a piece. So I've got one there, one there. You can see the one that still runs my well pump that says inverter number three on it. I got four of them for 60 bucks off Craigslist, and they're amazing. I put in more batteries. As you can see, there's another 12 batteries up there, the eight smaller ones, another 300 amp hours here at 48 volts. I still have all my golf cart batteries. Right now I'm running about almost 1,300 amp hours, which is just amazing. I'm running all my refrigeration. I've got two refrigerators on it, a freezer, all my air conditioners, all that stuff. And it's been running 24-7 for almost four days now. So, but it's just really cool because it just works out so nice. See if you can see this. Focus. One more screen. Uh, 60 volts in, 52.7 out. I've made 8.8 .8 kilowatt hours to just today. So, I mean, it just works out real nice. So, that's my update for you guys. Um, got any questions, let me know. Hey, one thing I forgot to say was on this Outback, you have your choice of an auxiliary output. And I ran mine as a low voltage disconnect, but I ran it the opposite way. So, from the output, or from the Outback, it comes through this gray cable right here. And then that goes all the way up and around, and it comes up to this guy, which is a solid state relay, 40 amps. And what that does is the outback, when it hits 48.4 volts, it will pull this guy in, and then it puts all of the inverters, since they're just UPSs, it takes the load off the batteries and puts a 4 amp trickle charge on, which just works really nice. I used to have this thing, I've abandoned it since then, and just put the solid state relay in because it's just so much nicer, it doesn't use any power, I don't have to rely on 110 to pull in these coils and all that other stuff, but yeah, you just leave it in grid down, or in automatic, and it just works great. If you need, you can flip it over, and you can see right there I'm pulling about 2 amps, nothing's on right now, none of the refrigerators are AC, but, or, you just throw it back, and now we're just running off that single 3,000 watt inverter, which is running everything I need. Um, if we check the amperage, we're pulling almost 6 amps, so something's on a little. The inverter pulls about 3 amps by itself with no load. So, just wanted to share that with you quick.